Hi everyone, my name is Claire and I'm a missionary with The Culture Project and today we are going to talk about how to talk to your accountability partner when trying to break free from a pornography addiction, all from a lady's perspective. One in every five women and one in every three men report having an addiction to pornography. Now, I truly do believe that we are on the path of successfully debunking the myth that pornography is just a guy thing, but we still have some room to grow. A common analogy is that men who experience a pornography addiction feel as though they're in prison with other prisoners. So not a fun place to be, but most of the time, there's a community to lean on in that struggle. Women, on the other hand, also feel like they're in prison but they feel as though they're in solitary confinement, alone, not knowing who to turn to. You see, there's a particular loneliness and insecurity in the hearts of women who struggle with pornography. So let's be honest, ladies, if you are struggling with an addiction to pornography, the thought of talking to someone close to you about it is probably the last thing you wanna do. And even if we do have someone we can trust, how do we go about that conversation? How do we maintain a healthy relationship of accountability with them? one filled with boundaries and vulnerability all at the same time. These are the questions I am here to answer for you. So let's get started. Step one, find your accountability partner. I would start by seriously praying and asking God for direction on who to open up to. This person should be someone you can deeply trust. Maybe even someone you know has a similar experience to you. Someone who can receive you with love and mercy. And one last little practical note, make sure they are someone of the same sex. Step two, Get comfortable with saying the uncomfortable words. In order for this relationship to bear fruit in your journey towards freedom, you need to be extremely clear and honest with your conversations. So if you're struggling with pornography, say pornography. If you're struggling with masturbation, say masturbation. Be clear and don't beat around the bush. Step three, create a game plan. Sit down with your accountability partner and be transparent on how you want this accountability to look. You don't wanna to keep too far a distance, but you also don't wanna step on each other's toes. Decide with each other how often you wanna check in. Personally, I think checking in at least once a week in the beginning is most prudent and will set you up for success. Step four, what to do in the face of temptation. Your accountability partner should also be the person you run to in these difficult moments. This can look like sending a text simply saying, hey, I'm experiencing temptation right now. Last but not least, step five, what to do when you fall. There will inevitably be times when you fall short and fall into these sins of impurity. It's okay, just take a deep breath. For the sake of your commitment, you must tell your accountability partner, as hard as it is. If you followed step one and chose an honorable person, they should receive you with love and mercy and without judgment. These setbacks are also a beautiful opportunity to encounter Jesus in the sacrament of confession. And it's actually super necessary that we do this. One of the most important notes that I will leave you with today is that you are not defined by your addiction or your struggle. It is easy to feel alone and fall into despair, but believe me when I say you are not alone. Many men and women are struggling and many of them are struggling silently. So I encourage you to be bold and courageous in reaching out for accountability because you deserve freedom just as much as anyone else. Thank you for watching everyone. Click to subscribe and go to thecultureproject.org to see more content like this.